All right, today I wanted to talk about uh, the new Tonfa set that they added in the DLC, why it's bad, and then uh, also mention some of the changes for the split staff. However, I am not quite proficient enough with the weapon yet to really show the changes, but I will go ahead and post a uh, paste bin that someone else made of the changes. Uh, general damage got increased across the board, uh, the hitboxes got improved, uh, the way that the moves interact with the enemy has been improved, uh, meaning that uh, a lot of the long animations, uh, the enemy actually stays within the attack instead of getting pushed out. So that alone right there is a, a pretty big change. Uh, I've been, I played with it for about maybe two hours or so today, and um, it definitely does feel a lot better. Feels like they could make it a little bit more responsive, but if you were on the fence about the weapon before, it definitely seems like they are very receptive and listening to the feedback. So chances are there will be more buffs down the line. Anyway, uh, here is the new set, the Great Hachirio set. So it's a five-piece armor set, and then you need you need one of the bows. You need the five-man bow or the Lost Kingdom Tanfa to get the uh, the final part of the set. But the problem is, uh, you can see, you look at my agility right now. It is at agility C with five of them on, <laughs> which is honestly kind of ridiculous. You know, Tanfa is supposed to be like the agility A or like B bare minimum kind of uh, weapon. You want to be getting in and out of, of combat fast, you want the extra invincibility frames, and then you want the, the key regen to be there so that you can remain aggressive. And uh, this set currently does not really let you do that. I suppose uh, I don't actually have the smithing text for the bow or the tanfa. Uh, they all drop off the DLC boss, the, the Umibozu. 2.0, who's like way easier, thankfully. <laughs> um, I suppose what you could do is you could use the Tanfa and then have the bow as a stat stick, and that would give you two pieces that don't really cost you anything in terms of weight. And then maybe you could get into B agility, but uh, someone else in my community said that uh, he had like strength at like 99, and it was just barely enough to get it to, uh, to agility B. So if you're looking for this set and you're excited because they added a Tanfa set, unfortunately you're going to have to wait a bit longer. Uh, Sasuke's set is not in the game at all. Uh, there's no parry disabled on blocking enemy in the game at all either. Uh, it's definitely one of the things that makes Tanfa kind of suffer in this game. I was really excited for this set when I found out that it was added, but unfortunately it's just not practical to use. Like right now, because I don't have the bow as the stat stick and I don't have the Tanfa, and as you can see my Tanfa's pretty close to being about as perfect as you can get, <laughs> then uh, you're just not going to have enough weight to uh, actually use it at Agility B. It's kind of a shame. Uh, I, they actually posted an official feedback channel in one of their discords, and I, I told them that uh, it doesn't make much sense to have this take so much weight when Tanfa's, you know, a lightweight weapon. Lightweight weapons tend to work well with Agility B or A, uh, ideally A in my opinion, <laughs> so that you know you can get in and out of combat fast and you have more key to work with, more key regen and things. So yeah, this is the full set here. Uh, the attack bonus Courage is the final the final uh, set bonus. And like I said, you would need at least one of those other uh, one of those other weapons. Probably preferably the bow, because that way you could just use that as a stat stick and then you would still have access to whatever Tanfa you were working on before. But Generally, it's not worth farming for, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know how they can fix it besides just straight up just lowering the uh, lowering the weight requirement for it. It doesn't make much sense that you could have like uh, max equipment weight reduction and still not be able to be at anything below agility C. Uh, the split staff buffs, uh, I will probably show some of those as I get a little bit more accustomed to them. Also, there are not official patch notes out in English just yet. Uh, somebody actually posted them. They seem like they're relatively accurate as far as I can tell, but I would rather wait for the, the official word, and then uh, maybe I'll put out some gameplay with the improved split staff. It definitely does feel a lot better. Uh, it feels like they fixed the majority of the changes. However, you still can't cancel out of a lot of animations, so uh, that's probably its biggest downfall right now, but they've done everything from like... Uh, let me check here. Some moves actually got like reduced stiffness. 
Uh, pretty much all the hitboxes and the, the move interactions actually got changed, so more of the moves are viable. The only nerf, the only nerf that we received was uh, they nerfed the key damage on Shin Crusher, but they increased the damage overall, which I think is pretty fair. Uh, it definitely did destroy key bars, but it did barely did any damage by itself. So yeah, that's my little video for the, the Neo 2 update. Uh, I was going to get this out earlier, but I wanted to play with this split staff a little bit more. I, I feel like I need to uh, get a little bit better with it before I make the video. But yeah, I'll try to show the changes as soon as I can. And if you're interested in the current patch notes that are fan translated, I will go ahead and post those in the description. Thanks for watching.